I'm doing them in one big bunch, the final three episodes of My Hero Academia. Season five, I should say. I'm very excited to watch them. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episodes 23, 24, and 25. Now, before we get into anything about the predictions for these episodes, I do want to let you guys know that uh, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we put on the channel, the full-length version, which is normally available on Patreon exclusively, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description and come back here for the review afterwards. And if you guys like that feature and want to consider keeping that for the future maybe check out maybe check out that patreon great deals great community all that over there fantastic time we ended off last episode with shigaraki destroying the tower redestro shigaraki coming head to head with gigantomachia zooming in as well so literally all is coming to a climax for this season right now and somehow this still feels like set up for what's going to happen in season six which i am way too excited for we got what eight months away you know that'll that'll fly by i'm hyped so i say we gotta hop right on in these episodes find out what happens all right i've said it before i want to see my man spinner fight this is like he, that's, that's like the support item that the interviewer had against toga yeah detonate rats yeah so it really does seem like this is in quirk as he empowers other Kone Trump insight, yep. Raise the morale. It's kind of like Jedi uh, meditation. Jedi con Oh, there's, there's a, there's a Jedi power that lets you do that with other people around you, you know. Oh my God! And especially in inciting and empowering an army of meta-powered people. I didn't know he was a gecko. He can stick to walls and do gecko stuff. And boom, a few minutes earlier, and now we're back to present time. And here is the tower. That was slick. She can get rid of the wall so someone else can go. Oh! He's confronting himself right now. He's, you know. Oh, 100%. You guys jumped into something you'd believe in, otherwise you'd be ordinary peeps. I respect it. He wants to do everything he can to help Shigaraki. And I love how each villain, along with the heroes, has some sort of tragic or cool backstory, you know? A lot of animes, you know, very good with that. My hero, no exception. Ooh, look how big he looks, though. I need to know the, spe the specificities of his quirk. Redestro. And what's he gonna say? Ooh, we are going... He is huge, though. He is ginormous. Damn! Okay, let's hear his quirk. Stress. He stores up his... Okay, that's OP. I need that. One of his hands fell off. Is that his dad? Hana's hands. Oh. Mother. Your grandmother. He, the only one he's mentioned so far is his dad. He had a sister too? I wonder what, what he looked like as a... So he mentions Hana. Yes, and for some reason, those fragmented memories are coming back now. Oh my god. One of his hands is just gone. Just crushed. Never mind. He would have decayed your whole hand. No, he's just developing. It used to be he had to touch you too, now it can spread. He can spread his decay. This young man is currently in the midst of an awakening, which only gets me more and more hyped. 
Reed Destro is putting stuff together, though, in terms of his information he had before and how he is now. And now he's talking about the Gigantomachia three months of non-stop training he had. 80% liberation? Oh my god, he's got like a full fucking final form! Uh I did not know Redestro was this powerful. That's gotta be maybe dad, grandpa. That's grandma. And the music in the background too. And I like how he is having his own Deku moment. Literally, what I wanted you to say back then, Deku said the same exact thing season one. Please be careful. It's oh Gigantomachia. Now this will be a fight. This will be a fight. See, Shigaraki is going to be so strong in Season 6. He's actually going to be a crazy villain. Is he just going to destroy or is he going to destroy to create? No, no. He's just all des destruction. He's hollow, as Reed Destro would say. This is his dad, Hotaro. Really? Henko Shimura, age five. Even the grandparents are like, are you sure about this? Is he saying this? Mm. Now I'm trying to remember the backstory. Now, if I'm looking correctly, his parents, he might be uh, Nana Shimura's son, but he was put up for adoption, right? Now these are his adopted parents or they're the wife's parents because the dad and the wife share the same hair color but if they were either wife's parents-in-law or the adopted parents i still do believe that tenko is his child right because he shares the same last now i i need to i need to re-watch season three man i need to re-get that nana shimura backstory in-laws okay You can tell he itches all the time how his skin turned in the way it is, you know? Any memory he has is interjected with his dad just straight scolding him. Mm, yep. So, yep. So they're blood siblings. I was worried about the whole adoption, but no. <laughs> that would actually be dual, a cool secret sibling heroes, you know? Grandma was a hero. Oh, that's a cute corgi. Was that the initiation of his quirk? That day was really humid the first time his quirk activated. This is scary, though. Kids developing their quirks, depending on the, the quirk itself, can be very scary. I know Kirishima, when they had his backstory, said he accidentally cut himself in the eye. So that's his issue with heroes. His mother abandoned him, put him up for adoption. Ooh, he's gonna slap his child. He's obviously very hurt from what she said, but he still has the picture, still has the letter, reads them, goes through them as if he's dealing with it. Obviously, it's hard for him. I think deep, 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 deep down, he, he understands it. Like, look at her. Like, that is adorable, you know, but it's, it's very much like Spider-Man, you know? You cost your own personal healthy relationships, but for the safety of other people. I always understand that, you know? I'll always be watching over you. I am so nervous about knowing his quirk is developed. No. Oh my god. With his anger quelling in his Oh, that is so sad. That's oh my god. Oh my god. That oh my god. Are you serious? In a pool of blood, a five year old kid just killed his dog? 
Oh, and Hana's next. R.I.P. <laughs> His backstory is, oh my god, is so sad. And then he's gonna grab her to make it so she doesn't come. Kids do that, you know, just don't stop, stop, instinctively, you know, and he's gonna kill her too. This was a horribly tragic accident. That's so sad. Just watching your life physically crumble away in front of you, and he cut himself in the eye right there. Oh my god. That all piled up little by little. Oh my goodness. And it literally was like that. The house his father built, he destroyed. And she's still reaching out in a loving and- Oh my god, this fucking show! And then imagine the oh my oh my god they did not need to put it like that they did not need to have it like this see and i love this world and the world building in my hero academia because they're not afraid to have the two differences in tones and stylizations of quirk and what i mean by that you know you know you've seen a movie let's say home alone where you were like, hey, if this was rated R, like if they really wanted to, this could be way darker than it is, you know? But this, in terms of this world, My Hero Academia, is a real world, you know? And so which, in this world, there are children who have backstories like Deku, you know? Who don't get a quirk, but have this super, you know, it's like, I'm saying that in a way, but in a world in which kids developed quirks and it was random, you didn't know when you got it, you didn't know what it was, there were mutations, this, that, and the third, when it comes to an unexplicable amount of variables that can affect your childhood and you growing up, this, I don't want to say it would be common or an uncommon thing, this would happen though. You would 100% hear stories of children developing their quirks, let's say Bakugo for example. Like yes, his nitroglycerin isn't that powerful, it's not murderous or fatal unless he goes really beyond, but let's say it was something like poison, you know, like you could, you could easily kill someone on accident as a child and this very tragic very horrible horrible backstory but in this world is so realistic and that's what makes it truly dark and scary is oh my god like when they showed that shot of half the dog's face just, oh my god and with the mom still reaching out as So that's the only one where he had a clear intent. I want to kill you, father. The other ones, seemingly accidents. This one, look at that face. Oh my god. And to think this is all coming to him right now. Look at his, oh my god. Look, oh my god. Talk about a fucking episode. Alright, that was Tanko Shimura Origin. Makes a lot of sense about his backstory, his childhood, back when he was Tenko. The next one's called Tomura Shigaraki Origin. How he switched... Oh, this is well done. I'm telling... I'm really liking this. Alright. Yes, he did. Here we go. Oh, and is this when, um... All for One found him on the street? Mm, nice lady. As soon as she sees that face. You might have been a completely different story. That's how it goes. That's like 50% of villain backstories. And then you look at who did reach out a hand to you. The ultimate, like... Touche. If anyone had the backstory of Tenko or Shigaraki, and then was raised by all for one, anyone would turn out like Shigaraki did. Do you see the, the, the ways and the philosophies this man is instilling in this kid? Yeah, I cannot believe that origin that originated with his father. Oh, and those two guys that were just fucking with him. His first official hits, first official bounty, here we go. And he's already got his hands on. I get it completely now. The origin of Shigaraki Tomuro. The music they play for All For One I'll never get tired of. It's so good. 
What the brain turning into blood? Oh my god, those guys are dead. Ooh, with that cut over to his family. Honestly, All for One reminds me of Silco in a certain in certain ways, you know. What a visualization! Instead of the caterpillar just coming out, it's just blood creeping over it. What the hell? This is when he came up with the alias, Shigaraki Tomura. Show us the butterfly, the murderous butterfly you will become. Did we always know that? I didn't know we knew his official last name was Shigaraki. Hmm. And we're back to present. After all that. Oh my god. We don't need the hands anymore? Oh. We are reborn. He can decay anything. Look at this man. Oh my god. And then you have this fucker just running through the city. The pulsing that's been coming in waves. He has- those support items are too OP, man. Why is his stress receding? I need to learn about this guy who makes these support items. Burden Amplifying Steel Pressure Mechanism Klausro. Look at this. So we add stress and builds up. Oh my god. Those ice dragons are so cool. But no match. Look at He's like a fucking... Mecha, he's like Ida if Ida was a Zord from Power Rangers. Like it's nothing. It's almost like plus ultra, yeah. He literally does not care. That is literally the truth. He has been liberated from everything. Is what? Excitement? He said it's not stress, the stress is receding, so what is it? Then you will be free, both hate and joy. He's joyous to hate. So this is probably what we saw in that one episode where we saw fucking him just after a destroyed Deka city. Look at Gigantomachia, he's even shocked at what fucking Shigaraki's doing. Redestro is just trying to get away. He's just trying to fly away. So, Shigaraki has powers of this level. And... Uh, what? What the hell is Season 6 of My Hero Academia going to be? That's my question. Like, look at this man. This man barely survived that. And Tomura is just still slowly walking up, as if the damage he did to his own body, passing his limits, did nothing. He was gonna decay his whole body, but he cut off his legs before he could spread to the rest? Yeah, that incitement got fucking shut down. You see what this man just did? Is he saying that Tomura is the embodiment of Destro? I mean, it does look like he's shining. He's not lying there, but is this how we officially come working together at the beginning of the season? He's willing. He's willing to give it up. I respect that. I always have to commend that. People who don't grovel or beg for their life and are willing to... It's a hard thing to do, so I'm willing... Oh, and he visions all for one. Oh, Gigantomachia does. 
It's the name of a company. I thought it was a person. Oh. So I wonder who's the... It, one week later, I wonder who the individual behind creating those support items is. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of cover-ups in this. A lot of press that, you know, is just like... Gigantomaki is just a part of this. He's just chilling. With both of them on like a throne. They're like, shit, what the hell? So he still has one of the hands left. This is not surrender. He still doesn't have his legs. Wow. Okay, a new name, Aim. and Spinner, the Paranormal Liberation Front. Nine people on stage are going to be lieutenants. Oh, this is like fucking Tokyo Revengers now. What the hell? And so now we cut back to Ryu War where Ujiko was like electrifying him, you know, like... Ugh. Yep, see, I'm worried as fuck about that. You'll grant him power? What did we just see 10 minutes ago? What was that? Alright, the final episode of season five. This one's called The High Deep Blue Sky, setting up for season six. Here we go. Now we have another time jump one month earlier. Okay. Okay, so this was a month ago. Still have yet to come up to present, present time. Oh, no, yeah, we know where present time is. We know I was so nervous about what happened with Best Genius a few episodes ago, but did Hawks really? Is Genius dead or did Hawks knock him out or is that a fake Genius? Or... Mm. Yes, I still don't fully believe we have the full picture. Hawks Undercover is one of my favorite parts about the season. I love Hawks as a character so much. I need him so much more throughout the show. Now, oh, is this the doctor? But whatever is connected, that's so broken. After using his ultimate power, yeah. Okay. This is a crazy ass fucking. Doctor's room. Oh, I love that shot. For four months, you will feel hellish pain. If we're talking about the still yet to be evolved, Shigura. Like, what the? How powerful is this man gonna be? I do love this song when they play it. We're back at the present. Okay, Aoyama. I'm getting some good training in. Naval Saber. You got a belly button sword. Oh, she can reflect that. And, and yeah. That's dope. Shouts out to Hagakure. Are we going to see some training improvements from everyone? She can have like a, she can cloak herself in the acid. The Yoru, the guy who looks like a samurai, right? He looks fucking dope. I want to see that work study. All right, we got Sato, Sugar Punch, Ojiro, Tail Man. Oh, the Lion Hero, Shishido. Improving search skills, Shoji and Jiro. Gang Orca, that makes sense. Mineta, <laughs> okay. Let me guess, Mount Lady again? Who was Mineta's with? 
Mineta and Saro. And Kaminari. Oh yeah, I forgot they were with the whole squad. Can we Woods, Edshot, Mount Lady, Team Lurkers. Look at this man, Kirishima, like it's nothing. Batgum. The GOAT. He deserves to be number one. Fatgum the best. Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku. Endeavor. They're gonna leave us off on somewhat of a happy note, because come on, this is my hero. You gotta end it somewhat happy, but I'm telling you, I can feel it in my butthole. Season six is gonna be fucking crazy. Oh, I love that. You don't look back at me anymore, huh? Always move forward. With the black whip just on command like that? You don't have to. Go, young man. Excel all expectations. Go beyond plus ultra. Full cowling shoot style plus black whip. Come on. I know. Wait till he has like all seven or whatever of his quirks. Who's going to be OP? Heck yeah. That's what good heroes do. I improve off of you, you improve back off of me. And we just keep going. Shouts out to them. After what happened with their homie, I want I want them both to find out who's making the normals. Her quirk is starting to kick in a little bit. Previous successors quirks. Are we gonna list them all out? Please tell me. Yes, fucking. He can turn into a shark. He can fart out um jelly. He can I don't know. Couldn't even find a hint. God damn. Yeah, there'd be no records. Nope. No past. Lariat. Mmm, look at him with his black whip. No, I bet she was rough. Yeah, knowing, hoping that it would someday down the line their efforts would have, you know, made it worth it. That's crazy. That's true. That's true. They all died probably young and sad, you know? I'm thinking Nana died young too. Bloat. Oh, or don't tell me we can fly. She can just fly? If we can fly, I'm punching someone. He's like, I can already do that. <laughs> Good. Good. I, I hope you do. That is funny. See, this is the happy note that I was saying my hero is going to end us with. Because it's my hero, but I can feel it. Bro. I'm telling you, season six is going to be wild. House arrest, boys. <laughs> that is true. We do know Bakugo has a great knife work, though. Yes. He needs to be a chef. He has a lot of weird talents. He's good on the drums. He has good knife skills, you know. Oh. Imagine coming back from a work study to your homies and having a hot pot party. Oh my god, that would be the fucking day. That's crazy to think. Time flies. Five seasons for a year. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we're going to have all new first years. I didn't even think about that. We could be the Mirio. We could be the big three to other students, you know? See, this is the reason everyone watches my hero, you know? 
the friendship, the camaraderie, dope times, good people. See, and just getting Tomorak, uh, Tomura Shigaraki's backstory, you compare Deku's and his, like, yeah, they're both, they both have their struggles, you know, but it's night and day. He is too blessed. He has lived a blessed life. Especially from being how powerful All Might was, that would be super frustrating, you know? You are definitely still a workaholic. Literal decades. Just because you physically can't. You being here, giving them that presence, you know? True. Hmm. R.I.P., man. I agree. But what's up with this music? Why is it getting, like, more intense, you know? The Paranormal Liberation Front. No, Shigaraki still has a backer. Ujiko, all for one. Hospital. Mmm. Jaku Hospital. Ujiko, yes. Is he a normal doctor? Is he just living, like, the secret hidden life? And this is where we left... This is where we're leaving Shigaraki off of? X day will be here soon. Season six. Come on. That's how they end it. Oh, we have after credit scene for sure. So it looks like the time has changed. Spring is here. Still work studying. And, okay. This is one of Endeavor's sidekicks. The major incident. Okay, yep. So this is, like I'm saying, I can feel it. Wait, that's where it ends? It ends like all of a sudden like that? What the hell? Well, talk about a group of final episodes. My Hero Academia Season 5 is wrapped in the books. And it was a journey. Started out with a little recap. The little Class A versus B throughout the season. Like, I thoroughly actually enjoyed that arc because... I know a lot of people are watching this show for the fights, a lot of people are watching the show for the animation. Uh, everyone has their own personal reason for watching, you know, the shows that they enjoy. And I enjoy other shows for their fights. I don't thoroughly enjoy My Hero for their fights. I think the best and the best shown in part about My Hero is the character development and and the characters themselves and how invested into them I am. So the class A versus class B arc, even though a lot of people thoroughly disliked, I very much enjoyed that arc and I loved even though I like Class B less than Class A, I loved the development we've gotten. We got to see individually a lot of their struggles, where they're coming from, what they're doing, what they're thinking, what's going on, how they can overcome anything that's been going on. I loved personally seeing that. I love diving deep into these characters, so I love that arc. But then we're getting older. We're getting into the more deep shit. We have to do work studies again. We need, be, especially because of what's going on with the commission, Hawks, and they know shit is coming to a head real quick. They know if these kids are not ready, there will be way too many deaths way too many deaths so we got to get these kids ready send them off to work studies ergo with endeavor my i mean there's obviously more work studies but that's my favorite one still love that to this day seeing him as an amazing teacher help out deku todoroki bakugo and how that transforms slowly from that into us seeing more hawks and how hawks and endeavor interact and then from there we got dabby and dabby in the league of villains and then from the league of villains we have shikaraki which goes into gigantomachia ujiko and then from there we get into redestro and the liberation like it just it gets kind of it gets kind of crazy i'm really enjoying it the whole tomura shikaraki tenko shimura origin story like i compared to deku all the time because they, like I said, they both have their struggles, but it's night and day in terms of who's is sadder and who's is more crazy. So I completely understand Shigaraki's outcome and outlook on life as to why, like, as, as soon as he destroyed, as soon as he killed his Corgi and his sister, I was like, oh, this is fucked. This is horrible. Like he's accidentally murdering his own family. Like this is horrible, horrible. But in terms of how they did his backstory, fantastic. How we're built up now, he, oh my, not only is he the leader of the Paranormal Liberation Front, which is bigger already than the League of Villains and the, um, the Meta Liberation Army, it's both of them combined. He's the Grand Commander, has all of his lieutenants, and is going to get new power from Ujiko. So that's crazy to me. 
so insane. And I actually cannot believe Reed Destro lost both his legs. Like he actually would have died had he not cut off his legs to prevent the decay from spreading. God damn, this show is crazy. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you enjoyed that free full length, make sure to check out that Patreon, like I said. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell somebody you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.